This one's about noise. And um, is there a particular polarization for general urban or suburban RF noise? Um, oh. And I, I, I think, you know, the general rule is, is that, you know, when we talk about noise and polarization, especially on the HF bands, is that vertical antennas seem to be noisier than horizontal ones. So, you know, you, you figure, well, a vertical antenna might induce more noise, um, you know, or, or receive more noise than a horizontal one. But that's not always the case, is it? No, um, I found that long wire antennas, um, end beds, um, app waves or randoms are because they're not necessarily tuned. They don't reject a lot of noise. So you get a lot of noise. You know, the dipole being more of a tuned circuit, mm -hmm. generally at resonance is going to be a little less noisier. Um, same thing with verticals. You know, the resonant at a particular spot, you can have less noise there. Um, another good example is you use a mag loop. And a mag loop is really good at rejecting anything outside of the pass band. Yeah. So if you're using like chameleon, we, we demonstrated the P loop a few years ago. Yeah. If you're outside of that pass band, especially in 40 meters or lower and the lower bands, there is no noise out there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's just a, my two cents on. But I, vertical, horizontal, it's going to really depend on what type of interference you're getting. So yeah, I've got a. Um... Uh, well, I've got two antennas now. You know, I, I've, I've got the G5RV that I always use. But then this winter, I put up a random wire NFED antenna to just kind of play with it and get more experience with these um, non-resonant random wire antennas. And the certain times of the day, I get a higher noise. I get more noise on the random wire there again because it's an untuned, it's, it's a non-resonant antenna than I do with the... Uh, with the G5, which tip with on the 20, you know, on, on 20 meter bands, especially is, is considered a, a resonant antenna. So, but on the other bands, it's, it's not resonant. So yeah, it's, if, if it, it's interesting how noise, how the different style of antennas can have different, different levels of noise. And uh, the other winners I've, I've done the Wolf River coil, you know, in the backyard and, um, Switching between the two antennas, you could tell the difference between you know vertical and horizontal because the noise flare would just go up and down, up and down. So, yeah. mm -hmm. the best thing is to move your antenna about a hundred yards away from your house. <laughs> <laughs> so I put you it on my neighbor's property. <laughs> 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 I hang it over my neighbor, I guess. <laughs> I can guarantee his too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.